Hi there! PowerDirector already has a wide range of effects, but version 12 adds even more. Let's have a look at each of the new effects and how to use them. Effects can be added to the effect track or dropped directly on the clip. The lens flare adds a highlight to a video and has different parameters we can control. Size, Blend, Brightness, Frame Alpha and Size, Light Size, Different Styles of Flare, and of course Position. Each of these can be keyframed to change throughout the clip. The magnifier effect allows us to highlight part of the screen in different ways. Here, we'll focus on the photographer's face. Next, we set the magnification and other factors. As with all effects, everything is keyframable. In this clip, we need to keyframe position to track the subject's face. Tilt Shift is another focus effect that blurs out part of the screen. We'll select an oval mask to focus on the lady in black. We change the shape to match the subject. And the amount of blur applied to the rest of the screen. Using keyframes, we can track the subject's motion to keep the focus. Just for fun, let's turn this park into a lake using water reflection. After we set the mirror centre, we can change the look of the water. A walk in the park becomes a walk in the lake. Lastly, we'll take a look at the timestamp effect. The race is about to begin and we're setting the stopwatch. It's easy to modify each of the parameters, position, text and format, to give our video that high-speed sports look we sometimes want. All these new built-in features give us even more great tools to make our video stories come to life with PowerDirector 12.